we need all the help we can get. Lives are at stake here. An overwhelming issue plaguing the streets. Now San Francisco's mayor is requesting outside intervention to help with the city's illegal drug problem. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dion Lim. Will the federal government step in to help clean up San Francisco streets? That is exactly what Mayor London Breed is requesting. It all comes as San Francisco's police department struggles with understaffing. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard is live for us in San Francisco with details on who exactly the mayor is now calling on for help. Cornell. Yeah, hey, Dion, uh, the mayor is calling on the feds. She is reaching out to the U.S. attorney for Northern California to help with the city's drug crisis here on the streets. My hope is that we'll be able to partner and work together on trying to address this really important issue. Mayor London Breed admits San Francisco needs help to slow drug dealing. That's happening every day on the streets. Breed just wrote a letter to the newly appointed U.S. Attorney for Northern California, Ishmael Ramsey, saying the problem is beyond the city's control. We definitely need some help because when we look at not only, you know, the fact that we in our police department are short staff, I mean, because an arrest, there's a whole process that goes into that and having the capacity to meet the challenges has been difficult. Breed says the city needs additional and ongoing support from the Department of Justice to both arrest and prosecute drug dealers at a time when the fentanyl driven overdose epidemic has brought open air drug dealing to a new level. The San Francisco Department of Public Health tweeted its street teams responded to more than 2,200 911 calls last year, treating overdoses and providing medical, mental health, and medications for addiction. In 2021, Breed declared a three month emergency over the drug crisis in the city's tenderloin, using city resources to crack down on drug dealing. All the various pieces that we need to make that as effective as I know it could have been weren't necessarily there, but I'm optimistic about the future. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins says drug dealing prosecutions are increasing at her office but says federal assistance is welcome. In a statement to ABC 7 News, Jenkins said no single agency or department is able to tackle the crisis of drug dealing and the impacts it's having in and on our communities alone. It is a public health calamity we haven't seen as a city since the AIDS crisis. Supervisor Matt Dorsey supports the mayor's plea for federal help. He says over the last three years, 2,000 people have died from drug overdoses in San Francisco. If we had that many San Franciscans gunned down in our street, there is no question the President of the United States would have the National Guard, the Governor would have the National Guard here. Now, Dorsey says oftentimes federal law enforcement has more resources that city agencies don't, and federal charges can bring more consequences for drug dealers. Both he and the mayor are hoping a meeting with the U.S. Attorney's Office can happen very soon. We'll see what happens. We're live in San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News. And